Yeah, a lot of people think Elvis was the king of rock and roll. But I say it's Chuck Berry, man. Chuck Berry will always be the king of my books. And he even went to jail for rock and roll. I really admire a guy that stands up for what he believes in. I remember one time, man, I learned the Chuck Berry intro to Johnny Be Good, man. It took me six months. I had to slow the record down, man. I learned it note for note, man. And then our singer changed keys on us, man. What a bummer. And you gotta respect rock and roll too, man, because it'll kill you. It killed Elvis, man. A lot of people think it was the drugs, but it wasn't the drugs. What happens, man, you get into rock and roll and it's so much fun, you take drugs to enjoy it, you know? And then you take so much drugs, you forget what you're taking, and next thing you know, it kills you. And you know, it's not even the drugs that'll kill you, man. What really kills you is looking for drugs. Keeps you up all night, man. I remember when I was definitely in the drugs. That's some heavy shit, man. Uh.